If someone asked me the question, how do I bulk and stay insulin sensitive? My first response to them would be to intermittent fast. Now, um, there are lots of studies and actually it's funny because a lot of the studies actually original studies were in um, animals, but they take the animals and they'd have them do dirty bulking. So you take these rats and you put them on McDonald's diet, a rat McDonald's diet, and then the other rats are on a clean, clean diet. And um, the rats that intermittent fasted while eating McDonald's didn't gain as much fat. Some of them didn't gain as fat at all. Now I'm not telling you that you can go and eat McDonald's intermittent fast and say shredded. But what I am telling you is that it will lessen the impact. Intermittent fasting can um, make a world of difference and um, erase a lot of mistakes. However, I do think meal frequency could be important for gaining muscle at the same time, right? So what I'm gonna basically suggest to you is basically um, that you uh, do, you cycle your intermittent fasting, okay? Um, one thing we know is that 20 hour intermittent fast will make it very hard to gain muscle. I don't recommend that. So your, your, your highest intermittent fast you're probably gonna do is more like the 16 hour, okay? Um, so you might fast for 16 hours, you have, then you're gonna have an eight hour eating window, but you're gonna cycle that. So for example, you might have two days of 16 hours, one day of 12 hours, one day not, and then start over. That's how I'd recommend imp implementing that. I do think that meal frequency could be important. Now, if you're trying to lower meal frequency because you're more of an endomorph, um, then at least in your intermittent fast, try and get like three meals. And then um, during the fasting period, do a modified fast. I would suggest having ketones in the morning. Um, Fernando, who's filming this, for example, when he intermittent fasts, he'll have something that's like a keto, he'll have keto broth. Uh, you can look, I think it's on Amazon, amazon.com now, um, but prove it has a good keto broth that he has, but have ketones and then have amino acids with it in the morning. Um, that'll keep you growing or at least not losing muscle in the fasting period and then between meals have amino acids. I got one for uh, the follow up with this. Yeah. Um, to uh, shorten your fasting window, can you take like berberine? Oh, that's a good question. So, so basically to kind of uh, not have to fast as long? Correct, so if you're not doing a 16 hour, can you do uh, a shorter fast and use berberine to kind of yeah. keep going? So, so let's say that, for example, you are trying to grow and you're, try, you're trying to stay insulin sensitive and that's the purpose of intermittent fasting. What Fernando is suggesting, and I think he's right, is so fasting will kind of cause like somewhat of a, you're, you'll deplete certain things. Like you deplete carbohydrates in your liver. Um, you may deplete something, some in your muscle and that will trigger responses that make your muscles, because there's not as much insulin around basically, there's not as much insulin around, your muscles have to get better at hearing the signal. It's kind of like um, if I'm used to being in the dark, I see better in the dark in, in a sense. Um, same thing here. Well, another thing you can do is trick your muscles to think they're low in energy, which is what a fast is somewhat doing, and they'll become more insulin sensitive. A way to do that is like what uh, Fernando's talking about is like berberine. So you might take like um, a half a gram uh, you know, and some people work their way up to 1.5 grams of berberine a day. Um, but that theoretically should allow you to maybe only fast 12 hours if you want to get a higher meal frequency. Um, I think the combination of that berberine, 500 milligrams to 1.5 grams combined with the uh, uh, intermittent fasting will help. Now, remember, berberine will help us with insulin sensitivity during a meal. It will make you hungry. So if I were to... Man, if I were to fast and take berberine, I, I personally can't do it because I get way too hungry. But if I'm gonna have my biggest meal, I take berberine before that um, and it should help.